What's going on everyone? Joe back with Grilled Joe's Barbecue and today I'm going to be answering that burning question on everyone's mind. Can you make an amazing pot roast in the crock pot? Now I know that's not what's on everyone. Everyone knows you can do it, but we're going to try an awesome recipe. This guy that I saw it from makes some crazy stuff and this just looked too simple not to try. I'm sure a lot of people have seen Pepperbelly Pete on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, you'll have to let me know how I did when you watch this video, because I know you're going to watch it, right? You're going to come watch the Gorilla Joe throw down your crock pot recipe and see how I did. You got to let me know. So let's get into it. All right, guys, starting off, I got my cast iron started to heat that up and I got this nice pot roast from Walmart. So I'm just going to give it a nice sear in this pan. I'm starting off some Wagyu beef tallow. We're just going to get that in the pan, let it start getting melted. And I noticed the first mistake was I didn't put any seasoning on this steak. In his videos, he definitely does season the steak, but I just thought with the packets we're putting in, it's gonna have a ton of flavor and seasoning already. So I just threw that thing in there raw on a nice hot cast iron, got it all seared up, get a nice little crust, and we're gonna pull it off, put it in a pan to let it rest. So once I was done with that, we're gonna take a half a stick of butter, drop that in, let it start to melt, and then I'm gonna take my onion I'm gonna dice up the whole thing, get it all diced up nice and small, and then we're gonna drop that into the pan to let those onions start to cook down with that butter. Gives them a lot of good flavor cooking in that butter with the, the pieces of the steak left over in there as well. Now after the onions, I wanted to get my carrots diced up. I went with eight carrots. I uh, only could find my small cutting board, so I had to break that up in a couple little batches. But I got all those chopped up and into the mix. So once we got all those carrots in, we added the pepperoncinos next. Now, if I do this recipe again, I am going to do probably not the whole can of pepperoncino peppers. Uh, it made it, it had a lot of flavor from these. And I think the juice, maybe if I cut the juice out or if I did half the peppers, it just added, it was really spicy, honestly, more than I was expecting. And uh, I wasn't super happy with the flavor of those. After you get the peppers in, we're going to add in tomato sauce, the whole can and half a cup of water with that. And then the three packets, the main seasoning, the au jus, the beef stew and the ranch packets so we're going to add all these in and get it all mixed up nicely so this is the main reason i didn't add any seasonings is because i thought these packets had a ton of flavor in them already and i wasn't going to need to add anything else so that's all that's left to do is to drop that pot roast into your crock pot and i have the crock pot set at high and we're going to just pour this gorgeous mixture all over that that pot roast in there and it's just gonna sit on high for the next eight hours. Uh, for me, it was a little bit longer. I was doing some projects throughout the day and I just let that thing cook in there and I didn't even open it. I might have opened it once to smell, but I just let that cook for eight hours. And as you can see here, this was after all the cooking. That meat is just pulling apart. It is super tender, it's super hot. Obviously you can see it kind of bubbling there. It's, it's boiling. But uh, yeah, this meat just pulled right apart. I used a couple forks and just tore it apart. I started this cook at about noon. It is 8.30. So we've been cooking for over eight hours. It's been on keep warm for the last hour and a half. But while I made some homemade mashed potatoes out of Yukon Gold and red potatoes, with some drunken chef SPG in there, some butter, and now the main course here. I already shredded all that steak up. That is looking hearty. Oh man, it is smelling amazing. That's the best thing about crock pot meals, is your whole house smells fantastic all day. I cannot wait to try that. So again, this was cooked for the Croctober collab. There'll be a link in the description with a playlist of all the videos. Everyone's making some awesome crock pot meals, so make sure you check them out. And I am going to take the first bite of this. Let's see. Mm, that is packed with flavor. I didn't put any seasonings in. I just put those three packets in from the recipe and it is a little spicy. Tons of the beef flavor from that au jus packet. You get a little bit of hint of the ranch in there and the gravy taste. Let's get some of the onions and stuff in there, or the carrots in there. And the 
pepper. Mm. Everything's super tender, super good. That is fantastic. Easy meal, cooked all day in there. All I did was prep it up and then just set it to cook all day while I started working on a new little secret project back here. You might be able to, to see something, but that's for a later video. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure you already subscribed, hit that like button, share the video out and check out everyone's videos for the Croctober collaboration. We'll see you next time.